You've heard of dual channel RAM and single channel RAM, maybe even quad channel RAM, but what about triple channel RAM? Where you have three sticks of memory giving you three times the speed of this single channel memory. Uh, in this video, we're going to find out whether it's worthwhile. Triple channel memory was introduced with the Intel 1366 socket and the Intel i7 processors. And as the name suggests, it's designed to triple the memory throughput speed of your memory performance. So what happens? Well, it's much easier to buy memory as a pair and buying three sticks of memory limits the appeal because m not many people bothered with triple channel memory and future generations of dual channel systems caught up to the speed of triple channel memory. So anyway, let's find out what speeds we get with single, dual and triple channel memory on a 1366 system that we've got. On this Gigabyte GAEX58UD3R motherboard, we've got three channel DDR3 memory support. And you'll notice that there's four slots and we need to use the three white slots. On other systems, the motherboard would support six memory slots, using up even more space on the motherboard. And you'll end up with a even larger motherboard than this, which is an ATX motherboard. This added additional cost to the motherboard and additional complications because they had to support six memory slots. And most people might not even use triple channel memory. You could also have problems trying to mix different types of memory. If you to try and mix these two, they have different memory timings and you might run into compatibility issues. We're going to be using MemTest to give us our memory throughput speed for single, dual and triple channel memory on default settings. And we're also going to run it through user benchmark to get results from that. So this is the speed from single channel. This is the speed from memory in dual channel mode. And this is the speed in triple channel mode. Running the system in single channel mode with one stick of memory, we're getting a throughput of 6.77 gigabytes per second. We've just run user benchmark with dual channel memory and we're getting a throughput of 13 gigabytes per second. User benchmark is giving us a score of 15.2 gigabytes per second with triple channel memory. These are the settings in the BIOS that we've used. We've got the memory running at 1,333 MHz. We've got the timing on auto and it's running at CAS 924. Um, we haven't um, enabled XMP but um, this memory is rated for 1600, so let's bump this up to 1600 and enable XMP and see what performance improvement we get from that. We're now running XMP and 1600 MHz memory and there's no speed improvement to be seen here. So let's try user benchmark. In user benchmark, we're seeing a throughput of 15.6 gigabytes per second, which is a minimal improvement over not running XMP. So should you look out for a 
triple channel memory system? Uh, well, the short answer is no. It was supported with the 1366X58 chipset motherboards and the performance improvements we're seeing from going from a single stick of memory to dual channel memory is between 27 and 92 percent speed improvement but then when we go over to um, triple channel we're seeing a 10 to 16 percent improvement and um, that's pretty disappointing considering that um, you'd think well why aren't we getting triple the speed of say running single channel memory it's what was promised but it doesn't seem to be delivered and you've got the added expense of trying to find a triple set of memory that works together another triple set of memory that I've got doesn't work together and you're also going to run into potentially more problems if you want to try and overclock the memory because it's much easier to overclock two sticks of RAM compared to say three sticks of RAM especially if you're trying to push to the limits of the speeds possible with the memory sticks after the 1366 socket and x58 chipset the following chipsets were mostly dual channel and then you had some quad channel systems and that kind of makes more sense you can buy a set of two sticks of RAM and then at a later day upgrade to have four sticks of RAM in your system. So yeah, triple channel memory, not really worth the uh, hassle unless you've got an old board and you just happen to have matching memory, then great, why not use it? But otherwise it's not something worth seeking out specifically.